Okay, so a quick update video. Right, so right now my cat is asleep, my daughter is asleep, but someone has to take care of the cat, so in case, in case my daughter wakes up, I kind of maybe I have to go, so I'm going to rush this a little bit. First off, my cat is back. We got him in just a couple of hours ago. The surgery was a success. Now, there's still a long way to go. He still needs rehabilitation. I mean, I've basically gotten a cyber cat. He's gotten a few screws and some plates and nothing robotic yet. But at least right now, it is looking very good. Now we just need to keep him calm and, and try to not to have him move around too much. But yes, I, I can't even begin to express how thankful I am to each and every one of you. Jesus. I mean, the kindness of strangers has baffled me. I mean, right now, we've raised close to $800. I mean, there's still quite a bit <laughs> left for the bill, but we'll manage somehow. So I just need to underline this and say, you, you all have my sincerest thank yous. Of course, those who weren't able to give anything, I still want to thank you for watching the video, liking and subscribing, because it helps with the algorithm. And yes, oh boy. Right, okay, so just, well, I am relieved. The whole stress about making the money kind of just went away as soon as we got the cat back home. Now, my cat is doing great. He has been through many surgeries, apparently. He is, well, he's shaved basically from top to bottom. I'll share a picture probably right here. It's nothing graphic. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, sleeping right now. We have plenty of drugs for him, so he's um, not gonna feel any pain. We got him home. We had basically removed all of the furniture from the nursery, the previous office, turned into nursery, now turned into the cat room, because he's not supposed to move around. Or at least, or more importantly, he is not supposed to jump up on anything. So, yeah, we made it into a cat room with all of his toys and favorite stuff, but. As soon as we put him into the room, he started to look around and he kind of realized, like, this isn't the room that I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> so he kind of freaked out, didn't really know what to do, so I picked him up, put him in our bed, and he started purring. And he has been sleeping since then, just realizing that he's home and we will take good care of him. And again, <laughs> thanks to each and every one of you that has supported me through this ordeal. Uh, now, now we just need time. Now we still need money. I do hate to ask for money, but right, right now we're just continuing to sell everything that we can. And it appears that the veterinarian is going to contact the insurance company. So maybe there's some leeway. Right now it's going to be over $8,000, which is positive. It is less than over $9,000, so we uh, we will see, but we will manage somehow. Yeah, but I think that I've rambled on enough. I need to get back to the cat. We need to get him some more food. He has used the bathroom, which is fantastic. He's, he, can, he can't really stand on his own for more than a couple of seconds, but it's enough for him to use the bathroom. So yeah, it's uh, going to be long recovery. Hopefully it will go well, we will see. In 10 days time, we will take him back to check the <laughs> stitches and the wounds. Uh, okay, so lastly, I just need to thank you all again. This has really been a fantastic experience, even though it has been a horrible experience as, uh, you know, a pet owner, but it really has made me view <laughs> humanity in a better light. So thank you, and I'm, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.